What's up, everybody? Danny Coker here, AKA The Count. You are watching The Count's Customs YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm gonna keep bringing you cool stuff. I wanna talk to you about uh, the episode that you may have just watched on History of Counting Cars. Um, if you missed it, look it up, man, look it up, because that's what I'm gonna sit here and talk to you about. It's uh, this particular episode. We did a 1954 Harley Panhead. Uh, we did a we customized a brand new snowmobile and uh, and did a amazing 1941 Buick for a great great cause It was a lot of fun doing this episode and and and, and like every episode man it's a lot of work it's a lot of work I got to give huge kudos to my man Shannon on the motorcycle department um, on that 54 panhead uh, you know, panheads are finicky old Harley Davidson, and and, and uh, Shannon just did an amazing job, as he always does, uh, mechanically making this motorcycle function properly as it should, updating the things that need to be updating, not messing up the things that should not be messed up. It's just got that proper, old school, you know, rigid panhead chopper vibe. Uh, you know, short chopper. Uh, it's just a really cool bike with the apes and everything on it. It was just phenomenal. Um, Shannon just did such a great job restoring this motorcycle mechanically and updating things on it so that it functioned properly. And, and then I got to give huge kudos to my man Ryan on the paint scheme on it. The silver and black is just classic. It's just classic. I mean, you know, when you look at the bike, it kind of had a vibe of, yeah, it's a custom chopper. Yeah, it's a custom 54 panhead chopper, um, but there's so much respect paid uh, in the design of the motorcycle to how Harley Davidson would have done it. So it kind of looks almost as if it would have been done by Harley if Harley did it that way, if any of that makes any sense, but you know what I'm talking about. So I really love that bike, I was proud of it. The, uh, the snowmobile was fun. Uh, never did anything like that. It was a casino uh, giveaway prize. Thankfully, we didn't have to do anything mechanically to it. I know nothing about snowmobiles. It was a brand new snowmobile, so it was all cosmetics. God bless Horny Mike. I love Horny Mike, by the way. Uh, the guy is fantastic. There's this stigma out there that, uh, that I don't like him and I should get rid of him and that he's nothing but a pain in the butt and he doesn't do anything. None of that's true. Uh, Mike's a great guy. I love Mike. We pick on each other all the time. It's, it's, uh, it's when I stop picking on you is when you got to worry. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, uh, Mike is so hugely talented, but he just could not, <laughs> in this particular case, he just couldn't wrap his mind around a proper corporate represented giveaway prize for a casino. Mike's just insane or it doesn't make any sense. So uh, my man Ryan had to jump in because he, he, know, he knows what I'm looking for on this. I thought the snowmobile came out great. The, uh, the 41 Buick, let's talk about this 41 Buick. Love this car. I found it here through my man Greg. He showed me the car and it was, it was quite some time ago and it was running and it was driving and most of it was there. And I just really like the body style. It's got, the, got that sedanette fastback body style, you know. So I bought the car and just one of those type of things where I'm just gonna stash it and one of these days I'll get around to it. And uh, this wonderful couple out of, out of Miami uh, came to me and they, uh, they've got a very young daughter who she's suffering from some sort of disease that I really don't even know or understand. I believe that the disease is referred to as NF2. Uh, I don't know much about it but um, it's rare. And so they, they really wanted to raise some awareness. And, uh, and they had this crazy idea of let's build a, a, a really cool car and let's do it in a manner where we can market the car and auction the car off and all of the money, all the proceeds will go towards you know, research. But in the meantime, it'll raise a lot of awareness. And, and that's really all that they came to me with. That's what they wanted to do and they left it up to me. And they had a specific budget that, uh, that they had set aside to do a vehicle like this. And so I got to thinking, okay, 
what's, uh, what's cool and what's different? And I thought about this 41 Buick that I just had stashed in, a, in one of my warehouses. And so we pulled it out and we went through it. And, and I wanted this car to have a really cool blend of uh, some modern touches, but a lot of old school touches. So, you know, we smoothed out a lot of things on it. We shaved a lot of things on it. We updated a lot of things on it, but the styling cues that we added to it are kind of contemporary. The car's got some hot rod to it. The car's got some street rod to it. For those of you that know what I'm talking about, there's a difference between hot rod. There's a difference between street rod. It's kind of got both. Uh, interior has got some very Art Deco vibe in it, yet it's got some very contemporary updated vibe to it. It's a really nice blend of old meets new, uh, which I love. And then, and then one of the most fun things to me about this car is um, you would think that a car like this maybe might have a, a modern LS engine in it and, uh, and or you know, something with fuel injection and, and, and all that type of stuff. But you know, I had, uh, I had a big block old school Chevy 409 and uh, we completely rebuilt that engine and made it like brand new and dropped it in the rails of this 41 Buick. So it's neat because the car's got a lot of contemporary things about it, a lot of old school things about it, and you're expecting something very modern under the hood. And it's not your typical small block Chevy. It's, it's a big block 409. And that just makes it all the cooler. I love the car. I think the car came out fantastic. I love the colors on it, the interior on it. I love the drivetrain in it. Driving, it's fantastic. It, 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 this, thing, this thing goes like crazy. Handles great for a 41 Buick. Comfortable and modern inside with that Art Deco dash. It's a car I would definitely keep in my collection, but it has a bigger purpose than that. God bless Zach and Lana. They're, 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 they're just really good people. You know, going about raising awareness in this fashion. Of, of, of doing something larger than life and big and getting it out there. And the 41 Buick is representing the fact that we're raising awareness for this. And, and while I'm sitting here talking to you about it, NF2, I've never heard of it. I'm certain most of you out there have never heard of it, but it's pretty bad and it's, and it's you know, attacking kids and it's, it's, a, it's a sad thing and so, I hope we do get to raise some awareness on this. And so I, I, give, uh, I give them credit for choosing this route. I appreciate them coming to us with this project. They had a specific budget in mind to build the car. And as we built the car, uh, and everyone in the shop was well aware as to the purpose of this car, it was so much bigger than the car itself that everybody really kind of went over and above. And you know, we blew past budget and even my man, Kevin Mack, who watches all the numbers, was like, I get it, man. Do what you got to do. You know, I think my favorite part of, of this particular episode was the fact that um, there were zero rules given to me by the client. None. It was, it was we want to spend this amount of money, and we want to raise awareness, and that's it, man. It's up to you. So I got to choose the car. I got to choose how we're gonna build the car. I got to choose the colors of the car, the drivetrain, everything, everything. This car is a 41 Buick as I would build it. It was 100% right here. And uh, I'm proud of my team. And uh, I think that was a lot of fun. I, I, I love being given no rules, love that. I think that was one of my favorite parts of this whole thing. Uh, I think one of the biggest challenges on this, to be honest with you, to be straight up honest with you, was knowing when to say when. Because uh, we were going all out on this 41 Buick, and uh, once we knew we were blowing past the budget and we really didn't care, because this is for a very important charitable cause, I think the most difficult part <laughs> of the entire episode and build on this car was knowing when to say when, that's enough. Cause, cause we, we just, we'll just keep going. We will just keep going. Just want to give a shout out to all of my boys uh, here at Counts Customs. Everybody really pitched in. Everybody went over and, aboard, uh, over and above 
um, to, uh, to make this car fantastic. And uh, the car is blessed, it has a purpose. And um, for those of you that know me, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a proud believer. So, you know, what, what you don't know, what you didn't get to see on the show, um, was before we revealed the 41 Buick uh, to Zach and Lana, uh, I gathered my team up together behind the rolled up door and we all got together and uh, we all gathered around in a circle and uh, we prayed over that 41 Buick that it would uh, serve its purpose and that it would uh, help with this and deliver with this and be a tool uh, for the good Lord above to use in, uh, in raising awareness for this disease and in helping in some manner. So just wanted to tell that to y'all, just let you know that behind the curtain here, I got a lot of good guys with a lot of good heart. You just needed to know that. Watch out for this 41 Buick. Take a look out there. Um, it's going to be auctioned off. We're doing a, uh, uh, we're gonna be working with Zach and Lana, they're out of Miami. We're gonna be working with them on, uh, on an upcoming uh, campaign to promote the car and promote the auction. So keep your eyes peeled for it, because I can tell you this, uh, anybody out there who's looking to score a really cool, obscure, different hot rod, it's this 41 Buick. So we'll keep you informed on that. And uh, it was just an honor to do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. And thanks for spending some time with me here and listening about it. And uh, again, subscribe. Subscribe. Counts Customs YouTube channel, man. We're going to keep bringing you a lot of cool stuff. And uh, I'll be back with more cool things. In the meantime, you guys rock. Yeah.